I am back. Guys, if only you guys knew how much shit has changed from the last video I did. Not the video of the vlog at work, whatever. The one before that. Life has changed so much. And I'm going to catch you guys up on that. But right now, this video, you know, I'm, I know what you guys are here for. You guys are here for how the heck did Jennifer make it? Front row seats at the Latin billboards. And don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spill the beans on that. I'm going to spill the beans. I'm going to give you all the cheese and all the good stuff. If you hear background noise, I'm sorry. It's like hot in my room. I have a fan on and then my stepdad, my parents are cooking and you're going to hear the pants in the back. There's a lot going on right now, but we're going to get through this video. It's all going to be good. All right. So, first things first, there is a link. Not sure where the link came from and not sure what the link is. My friend's sister told her about it because I guess she knew someone that worked at Salem Moons or whatever, whatever. She got that link. And generally, this is how it works for all the other like programming stations like Univision as well when they do Premios Lo Nuestro, Premios Lo Juventud. That's kind of a, how it works in order to become a seat filler, right? So she got this link. She did the application and she put like three of us down, whatever. Fast forward a few days, I guess, I don't know how long it took her, whatever. She heard back as the day was getting closer to the Latin billboards. And she was told um, that she had to kind of like get confirmed. She had to confirm who was going, if we were still interested, whatever. We got a list of like mandatory stuff of like what not to wear, what to wear, what to do, what not to do, all of that good stuff. So then, she got that and then and then whatever so we we're confirmed it was all good in the clear okay so i'm gonna pause this right here and i'm going to show you kind of like the vlog that i put on tiktok of getting ready preparing the day off okay here it goes this is the final look he told us to dress classy so i did not want to roll up in a clubbing dress so this is what we got the top is a fashion nova and the pants are fashion nova too but they're really really old and they said comfy shoes so i'm wearing some shein wedges i call them my thea wedges because they look like thea shoes I'm trying to show you guys and they're really comfy so hopefully they can last the whole night and the necklace i forgot where it's from but it's like really old and very cheap and fake my neck might end up like purple after tonight but it's all good <laughs> What's new? Always running late, but here we go. I'm sweating profusely. My car is freaking hot heat coming out. I'm dying. My air is literally going hot. This is great. This is just great. No, I think it's over the So, as you guys see, um, once we went in, it was held at like a I forgot what the stadium not the stadium with the concert hall or whatever it was at um the university of miami it was held in there so we went in we got t we got wristbands we got an orange and we got a black vip which got, that kind of separates you of like what sections you're going to be sit seated on or if you're going to be in the pit the pit is horrible because you're like standing up the whole time but you are like in the middle of the stage but i like to be comfortable i prefer to be sitting down somewhere so so yeah so the wristbands kind of like distinguish where the seat fillers are going to be and before i continue let me just make it a clear point why these seat fillers are needed so basically you're needed because they need to fill up the floor the seats like when they pass the camera they need a crowd there they can't always have random people from the public because you know you're gonna have celebrities there and they're gonna be fangirling and who knows you know it's crazy people out there who knows what they're gonna do so they kind of have to have people i guess that like know what a sea filler is or has done it before in a way someone because i don't know they don't do background checks on you so i don't know how it works but i guess i prefer someone that goes through like the entire process than just like opening the seats to random people from the world or not the world so random people from miami let's put it that way right so 
when you see it on tv these programs you're like wow it's like packed there's so many celebrities like you think they're all sitting on the floor but in reality there's like three or four freaking celebrities there is not that many celebrities maybe it depends what year what show maybe there's more celebrities because there's more performances but this year there was like literally a good five celebrities and not all were singers maybe some were freaking like telenovela and like soap operas famous celebrities so I, I was very bamboozled when I would see these shows on TV very bamboozled but now I see how it works okay all right so now back to that so once we came in they sat us like in some seats where we were just like waiting and then after that they took us to the floor seats right and then they just told us like hey you're just remember where you're seated or whatever um they, so they filled there was a many there was a lot of seat fillers everybody that was on that damn floor there were seat fillers they just spread us out and they're like oh if a celebrity comes and taps you or someone or manager is like hey you're in the celebrity seat like you got to stand up a celebrity takes over your seat and you go find another seat that's technically how it works when that celebrity stands up and they need a seat filler someone from production will either tell you go sit there fill up that seat or you can just i guess go on your own until the celebrity comes and switches back and forth i don't know i didn't do that much switching so i'm not really sure how it works so then once we were seated uh i was just there minding my own damn business and i think it was like the floor director or something he just like i just made eye contact with this guy and then this guy is like you how many do you have and i was like three four like i don't know i was getting nervous i don't know why i was getting nervous but i was getting nervous so i was like four 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 he's like okay okay come with me and then he literally took us to the front row to the side of the stage it was like this little section and that section no celebrity sits in that section like we were there the whole time he even told us he's like you're gonna stay here like no one's gonna take these seats unless it's an emergency and someone big needs it but for now these are your seats you're not gonna be switching seats that's exactly how it went nobody messed with us we were in that whole little what i like to call vip section we were in those seats and then and then yeah what else and that's it that's pretty much it when it comes to how the heck I got front row seats. I got really lucky. Honestly, people were dressed. I wish I would have gotten a memo because on the list of things not to do was like, you know, don't dress too crazy. I mean, they didn't say don't dress too crazy, but it was like not business casual, but like formal casual. So obviously it didn't roll up with a glittery freaking quinceanera dress, but a lot of people did. A lot of people, they look like pros and hey, I give it to them, their makeup, their hairdos. They look like they were pros and they had done this many times before, but I literally just went all black, kind of formal, but it looked like a, like a not a suit, it looked like a set, like a top, a black top. I'll show you guys like a video, video and like formal pants. And very comfortable like wedges because he said don't wear wedges wear comfortable flats i was like i'm gonna roll up in chanclas i'm gonna roll up in sandals or flats i'm gonna wear comfortable dia heels as i like to call them so those are the ones i wore and and yeah but next time if i do this i am gonna try a little bit better and dress a little bit nice i also didn't want to roll up in like a freaking clubbing dress because come on now come on i didn't know who i was gonna be sitting next to or you know I, I wasn't gonna look like i was about to go hit the club you know what i mean i had to like balance it out a little bit like sexy but like classy right so i think i think i nailed it just it just didn't look that formal but it's all good that's all good we made a front seat so it's all good so then i'll put you guys some clips to show you kind of what it was looking like so i was actually seated next to becky g but she was like there was like space in the middle i didn't like you know sit next next like she was you know a space to the side and oh my gosh she was so nice to like her fans everybody coming up to take pictures with her i didn't talk to her i was damn shy i was too freaking shy i was like i'm a damn peasant next to this queen i'm not gonna talk to her or bother her so i didn't i didn't do it <laughs> i didn't talk to her but she was so freaking beautiful she's so beautiful in person guys like she's pretty in pictures in person she's like a tiny little thing like freaking beautiful and and then yeah and then from across he saw nati and natasha uh and then who else she was beautiful as well and rao alejandro he was you know he was vibing for some for some artists he was vibing for others he was just like get me the hell out of here <laughs> he wasn't having it um and then yeah and then what else so, it was a really cool experience i saw manuel turizo in person freaking beautiful can't believe he's 22 years old but beautiful 
when he was finishing his jam i started like blowing him kisses and i like to believe he blew them back at me and we made very intense eye contact that's what i like to believe you know that's how it helps me sleep at night so i'm gonna keep believing it slid into his dms haven't heard back but you know it's all good i completely understand one day one day and we made it on tv a few times the camera passed by us so i'm gonna show you guys here some like clips of us dancing oh my god a big thing that i was kind of bamboozled by that was a whole damn part time job because the the floor people would come up and be like stand up smile dance do this act like you're acting having fun and i was like freaking tired <laughs> so when i literally got out of there we were gonna, me and my friends were going to go out and we're like no we're tired of shit like my freaking face hurt my palm of my hands hurt from clapping like my back was hurting from standing up complete freaking vieja mode so it was yeah it was a, a full part-time freaking job there doing all of the things to make it look better on tv and it was kind of awkward because there was like sometimes that it was um like music like those Me mexican rancheros or whatever and you're like trying to vibe but like you don't know how to vibe it like you don't know what to dance like you don't know what to do it was like a weird situation when it was like those weird random songs that you've never heard before um, but yeah, it was, it was funny, but overall it was a pretty freaking cool experience. Would I do it to, again? Yeah, I'll do it again. Hopefully maybe there's, I don't want to say better artists because there was good artists, but like more of a vibe, more of like artists that I want to like see and hear. Um, but yeah, I saw Manuel Turizo, Becky G didn't perform actually. That was, that was sad that she should have performed at Mommy. I wanted to hear Mommy um i saw christina aguilera and elvis crespo the og the freaking goat and maluma maluma performed and he broke you know everyone's heart when he got off the stage and kissed a girlfriend that we didn't even know about at least i didn't know about so broke my freaking heart but it's okay i'll survive i did not slide into his dms because i respect and and then yeah that's pretty much it once the last song played everybody was just out the door and that's it it's a cool experience especially since it's free and getting front row seats like i said it was a pure freaking luck shout out to my cousin for doing my makeup it was the makeup that got them it was definitely not the freaking outfit shout out to makeup by Morales. the makeup the makeup it was the one that did get the deed got the deed done definitely i'm 100 sure of it uh, find her on Instagram guys makeup by Mary Alice won't disappoint if you're in a Miami area and tell her you heard this in the video so you can probably get a, a discount <laughs> that's all what I got for today I haven't spoken to a damn camera in so long not even for work because I've been out of freaking TV news for like three weeks so this is the first time I sit down and I'm talking to a camera so it's a little weird if I stumbled over my words I apologize I'm gonna get back on my flow I promise guys I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye